Hey everybody, it's Josie. Welcome back to Cedar Creek Homestead. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Uh, pardon the fan running in the background. I'm on the back porch and um, it's not just terribly, terribly unbearable out here, but it is enough that you do need a breeze blowing and I've been out in the garden and, and getting a lot of chores done out there and so I'm just uh, uh, spending a little bit of time here with you all. I've had a lot of people uh, get in contact with me asking if we were okay after the storms that blew through late Saturday night and into the early morning hours of Sunday morning and the simple answer here at Cedar Creek we are um, it was a it was a wind event um, uh, some of the sustained winds were upwards of 100 miles an hour in some areas not here we didn't get it we were under uh, under warning for that but fortunately it stayed uh, those strong winds stayed north of us um, we had just a little bit of, of things kind of like just any old regular rain, uh, rain shower thunderstorm with winds uh, we just had some small branches and around here that's all that I saw what uh, for anybody was just small branches I didn't see any tree da tree damage or or a property damage or anything like that it could have and I just haven't seen or heard of it at all um, but I haven't heard anyone around town or even out here in the country talking about it we had a gate that blew over in the air in the high winds uh, but the gate had some issues anyway so it doesn't surprise me that those winds uh, coming from that direction blew that gate over it was an easy fix blade got it fixed yesterday before we ever went to church uh, and so we didn't have a lot of damage but uh, Tulsa the Tulsa area and this towns and the cities around Tulsa and other parts of Oklahoma have a lot of damage um, there were some tornadoes that touched down briefly in some areas of Oklahoma and there's damage there um, Tulsa as far as I understand was not tornadoes it was straight line winds um, and they were uh, the the speeds were as that of a small tornado and so they've done a lot of damage in Tulsa and in fact some people are still without power from late Saturday night till now um, I haven't heard of any deaths, but I do know there's property damage, and there's a lot of people that had gardens, flower gardens, and vegetable gardens, uh, and they're just destroyed. They're just tore apart. That there, and I've saw pictures of their um, raised beds, their arches, their um, cattle panel arches, and all of the things that they've done. So pretty, just totally destroyed. And I know that that has to cause a lot of frustration for people um, here uh, we suffered here in Oklahoma last year we had we're in terrible terrible drought if you've been with me for very long you know that our ponds and our creek dried totally up there was no uh, natural water standing anywhere um, the Arkansas River of course which is just right over here from me less than a mile it had water and the Illinois River had water but the creeks and the ponds were dry and everything just really burn up on us last year and so we were really looking forward to gardening this year because you know well y'all have heard the reports they're saying a cooler wetter year for us and so we were excited about that and I know a lot of people are disappointed that their gardens are um, are laying around uh, messed up this year uh, I know people in in Texas and you here in Oklahoma uh, also, just a few days before this wind, wind event, had um, gigantic hail, had hail, uh, hail storms, and destroyed a lot of their things. Missouri is, uh, is hurting for water, and there's a lot of things going on in the country that uh, people are struggling. They're, they're trying their best to grow gardens, to try to offset grocery store prices, and to be healthy and to provide as much that they possibly can for their families their own selves and it's frustrating when you do everything that you do and something happens y'all know how it is to have beautiful lush 
squash plants one day and go out the next day and you've been hit by squash vine borers or squash bugs and your squash plants are just decimated. Uh, a lot, we're seeing a lot of people with their corn blown over um, here. We have some big farms uh, that have corn and a sweet corn and then later on their field corn, uh, it'll be ready. Uh, I think they start selling their corn this week. Um, what they do around here is they, they sell corn to uh, people that live around here, can buy it by the bushel. And it, they would be devastated if that wind event had happened here and had laid all their corn down. So I know that uh, those that have suffered with these storms are devastated and disappointed. Uh, th then we have the problem this year with the peppers. Uh, everybody is talking about how they thought they were getting uh, jalapeno peppers and they're getting uh, banana peppers and then others say no you didn't get banana peppers you got a yellow jalapeno so I don't know about all that but I know people have been disappointed in that and even with us too my garden has gone is going in late my tomatoes are out there I've got um, jet stars and Rutgers and um, beef steaks and they're doing good they're nowhere near ready to have any tomatoes hanging on them yet uh, but we have a long growing season and I'm thankful for that they'll slow some down with uh, slow down some with the heat and uh, some of the blossoms sometimes will fall off if you if we get those extreme temperatures but we're hoping this year that that doesn't happen now I had to plant my peppers three times uh, most of y'all know that I had them up and going right along with the tomatoes and my little helper uh, uh, I mean back turned for just a little bit and my little helper had the trays all knocked over and and just turned upside down and rearranged and there was no coming back from that and so we've planted three times the second and third time they just kind of sat there uh, but I am getting peppers up now we are getting peppers up now and I some of the peppers that just absolutely refuse to sprout I um, put them in napkins and wetted the napkins, put them in Ziploc bags, and they sprouted that way. So we are going to have some peppers, but it's going to be later in the season and t before we get those. But I'm okay with that. Uh, we've got a lot of things going on, and um, I'm enjoying sharing with uh, uh, church family. So right now we're uh, enjoying harvest from our church family members. Uh, that's just been something that we've done throughout the years. Uh, I take usually take chicken eggs and other uh, things out of my garden that I have an abundance of, and they do the same thing. And so I don't have anything uh, harvesting out of my garden right now, but they do, and they're gracious to bring and share with us. And then in the fall, if they if theirs have finished out and they don't have fresh, then I'll be able to take mine and share with them. And I'm excited about that. But I just wanted to jump on here and answer questions for those of you that's been wanting to make sure that we were okay. Yes, we're okay from the storms. Like I said, we had it mild here compared to Tulsa and other places that have really been ravaged. Uh, and then I wanted to encourage your hearts. Those of you that have seen your uh, corn get blowed over and have seen your tomatoes getting broken down and your other vining crops and those of you that are uh, in those areas in Missouri and other areas that are burning up and need water uh, we've been there and we we went through that last year and so we're uh, we know and we're thinking about you and uh, we don't know what it's going to be like here we know that the weatherman is saying it's going to be cooler and wetter for us this year we're hoping for that but uh, I just wanted to encourage hearts to keep uh, trying I know that it's frustrating and you want to throw your hands up and say I quit uh, but uh, we can't do that we have to go on and if you live in an area that has a long growing season you still have time to plant some things maybe you won't get as big a harvest as what you were going to but you'll get something so uh, try to pick yourself up and dust yourself off and get out there and plan again and see if you can uh, make something of your gardens. Until next time, guys, this is Josie. I love you guys. I really do. Keep looking well to the ways of your household. Don't give up on those gardens. Get back in there and try it again. And until next time, we're gone.